we can turn on and on this video i'm going to be showing you how to design how to detail sorry your column and your bit okay uh if you have been following we have done designs uh using our rcc spreadsheets and uh, our rcd 2000 now um we are going to be using our results from our rcd 2000 to come up with our structural detailing on autocad okay um we have done uh, our foundation layout down below the description uh, box of this uh, video uh you are going to see that youtube channel link okay you can visit that channel and then keep yourself busy i've done designs on rcd on rcc spreadsheets on autocad on Proto structure or ryan and uh revit architecture okay uh keep yourself busy on that um but today we are going to be focused on our structural detailing uh, i'm going to be taking you through from my computer if you love what you're seeing why not give it a thumbs up subscribe to this youtube channel it's actually free uh click on the red button down below the video uh you see a red button subscribe it's actually free click on that red button and boom you are subscribed okay uh click on the bell icon to get a notification whenever i post the video i post videos on uh structural designs uh, on mechanical and electrical service drawings on architectural drawings uh, on a weekly basis sometimes on a daily so as to encourage uh, people who are trying to come up uh, we have a platform on facebook uh, greatest card design concept you can join that platform and then let's move to greatness okay um on today uh, from our rcc spreadsheet result as you know you don't design with autocad uh, you only do your detailed drawings on autocad and your drafting okay uh, i'm going to open that uh, design okay this design that we did on this okay now um if you can remember if you have been following this is uh the size of the base okay and this is the reinforcement they said we should provide wide 12 at uh, 225 okay millimeter center to center bottom okay wide 12 at 250 center to center bottom okay uh let me take you through that now you can see this is the size of the base okay if you copy any of these detail it out okay detail okay okay that is the size then you provide this reinforcement on it okay look at the reinforcement we asked to provide uh, on uh, your a and on your b on both side okay because it's a square column and um, that you can remember is that we should provide two to five on one side and 250 on the other side okay on one span and on the other span 250 um uh, i would like us to use a uniform spacing okay so i'm going to drop it down to 200 uh now uh a disclaimer please um using 200 will actually increase the cost okay yes that's the truth you can imagine uh dividing this span 1100 divided by two to five okay it's going to give you a lesser value than six okay uh when you divide by 250 it's going to give you a lesser value than six okay and when you multiply by the number of the base that is actually uh should be in this particular building uh but the sake of this tutorial i'm going to i'm trying to make this design as uh, fast as possible and as brief as possible okay um we're going to use a span of 200 okay uh you know as an engineer uh, you must consider safety and then economical okay um using 200 is actually still safe okay but using 2250 is safe uh and much more economical but for the sake of this design okay for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to use the spacing of 200 okay here so i'm going to use the spacing of 200 and because sometimes even on site uh some of those uh, iron vendors uh, you know spacing 225 sometimes is actually going to be somehow uh stressful so some of them may not want to follow that uh, but uh now um if you have this this is the reinforcement 
uh, we are asked to provide bottom Y12, okay, which is this. You can see Y12 uh, 01 at 200 spacing, okay. Uh, six number of these. If you divide 1100 divided by uh, 200, 1100, when you divide by 200, uh, you can see it gives you 5.5. Which is approximately six. If you divide for the other side too, it gives you six. Okay, that's how we got the six. Uh, y12, which was given to us from our design. So that is why we are maintaining y12 as 200 spacing. I told you why I'm using 200 spacing. I want to use a uniform spacing on both sides. Okay. Um. What else? Okay. You can see the size 1,200. Okay, which is correct. You can see it is simply reinforced because it is a, an isolated uh, base, okay, part base. Uh, in the case of a combined base, uh, you have uh, it will be doubly reinforced. That is both uh, the top and then the bottom will be reinforced. Okay, but uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial, uh, I'm only going to be showing you an isolated base. Okay. Um, now, uh, the next thing I would like to show you here is uh, when you take the cross section, as you can see, this is cross section 1 1. If you cut this at this place, now this is section 1 1, this is the section of this. Okay, uh, if you take that section, you will discover that uh, on this reinforcement, look at we call this out. Okay, this is look at this donut when you call this out. Can see uh, Y1202, right? Uh, this is the reinforcement. Okay, Y1202. This is the number 02. Um, for this, which is this, when you cut, this is what you have. Um, Y1201. Okay, it's just the numbering. Okay, 01010101. Okay. How many number of it? We have six number of this. Okay, so when you count this, do not one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's six, and this is your blinding. Okay, uh, this is your concrete uh, cover, and all of that. Now, if this is correct, uh, why not give this a thumbs up? Okay, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's actually free. Now, when we come back to our column, uh, from our design of column which we got from our RCB 2000 when you go and you open that column design which if you can remember if you have been following us from the beginning you the column uh, this is the design we got from our column from our first floor to our roof okay and um, from our ground floor to our first floor okay look at uh, 230 by 230 Okay, this is it says we should provide Y10 at 150 spacing center to center for your links. Okay, your main bar should be 4Y12. Okay, and then uh, when you come from your first to your roof, uh, it says we should provide 4Y12 uh, for your links. We should provide Y10 at 150 spacing center to center. Now, um, let me bring you back to this detail. You can see this is from your first floor. This is this indicates floor. This is your slab, which is 1150. If you take the dimension of this, it's supposed to be uh, 150. Sorry about that. Uh, here it's supposed to give you your 150. Okay, so I guess that that is actually a mistake. But uh, this this thickness of this, the depth of this slab is 150. The depth of this, this is your slab. Okay, this is another uh, slab. This is your floor slab. This is your first floor slab. Okay, um, this is your your ground floor, and then this is your first floor to your roof. Now, this is your roof beam, okay, which is 300. This is your your floor beam, which is uh, 450. Okay. Now, this is it yes okay now um as you can see this is uh, the thickness of the uh, your this is your floor base from here to here which gives you your, your um, 
450 okay this is your your roof beam as you can see here uh, this is your reinforcement okay you can see 4y16 now we use 4y16 don't worry i will explain it is customary to use y16 for your columns in nigeria okay it is customary to use y16 okay um even uh, we don't use y12 okay um one of the reasons is that even your reinforcement y12 when you even take the measurement of that uh, uh, that uh, reinforcement using a very counter you discover that uh, it's all actually not even up to that size of y12 okay uh it's actually uh, disheartening okay they are always not even up to that thickness of uh, 12 millimeter uh, so it is customary that you use y16 for your columns okay you use y16 for your columns uh but uh for the sake of cost maybe you want to save cost uh sometimes it's our advice you can use from at your ground level you can use y16 and then at the last floor you can use y12 okay please um uh, i will advise you to visit any of the reinforced concrete design boards okay get any of them you can get one by uh, mostly and Bongi. you can get a reinforced concrete design book by uh, victor Oyenuga. okay or you get any that is actually recommended in your country as you can see the depth here is actually it's actually um it's actually it's going to give you uh, 250 Okay. okay, as you can see, if you take the bit, it's actually going to give you the exact uh, size of the base, which is actually 1100. Okay, and then the thickness of your slab here is 150. 150. And then uh, the mark, you can as well in this one. Okay, you can them. This is actually useful for most especially when you want to do your bar bending schedule. Okay, um, when you check uh, here, we have 15Y10 07. Uh, okay, this is just your bar, uh, your numbering. Okay, uh, this is uh, going to be on your substructure. This is your ground. This is your first floor. Uh, when you take this measurement, uh, when you divide it by 200, you know since we actually changed our reinforcement from Y6, Y12 to Y16, uh, it is advisable you increase the spacing of your links as well. Okay, because the diameter of this uh, reinforcement in column from our design to provide y12 so when you change to y16 you can as well increase the spacing of your links okay it will serve it will serve so that is why I actually change uh, this spacing to 200 and at this point to change to 200 now if this um height is actually 300 3300 when you take 3300 divided by uh, 200 uh, we'll give you 1300 we have 16.5 so here you can change this to 17 okay. um, so uh, that is that okay let me pick uh, the cross section of that column and if you pick this column from now, now if this is okay, let me do something sharp here. I just want to briefly take you to something. Okay, let me see. Now, if you see, if you 
take the cross section of this look at this is cross section 4 4 uh, what you have here is actually um, for reinforcement which is o, 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 six. Now I'm going to change it if you can remember I actually changed this number now here I'm going to change this to uh, the, yeah, this is it. Now, um, this we name this uh, seven our links. You can see Y ten O seven. Okay, Y ten O seven. Okay, if you if this changes to one, for example here it will also change to one because you are taking the cross section of this column okay we have 4y16 okay 4y16 you can see one two three four this is your links y10 okay um, that is that uh, if you love what you are seeing why not uh, give it a thumbs up okay make sure you subscribe to this uh, channel okay and then uh, you stay blessed